I think the slanted one probably didn't didn't benefit perhaps a sorted character as much. If you're spacing, you know, you do like that level playing field because when you're here and your opponent's here, you don't want your, you know, curved sword to just fall just short. Or if you are too close, your opponent just going to think he's a lot closer than he is and plays, um, plays just entirely around that. I am new to MSN, Adam Yoshi. I have commentated the last couple of uh, Hollywood Action Tuesdays and a few tournaments besides that, so you may have seen me there, but this is my MSN debut. Doing it solo for the moment. Uh, a couple of commentators are, you know, still making their way back from Evo. I know Strides is here. Uh, he posted still on the grind, something to that extent on Twitter, and he's in bracket today, so he'll be doing well uh, to just maintain that here because he hasn't come up to me yet. We're gonna see Nitro against Naito. It's gonna be a bit confusing for me, but nevertheless, Nitro, of course, Richter. We'll have to see if he wants to go to the Drazzle altar, perhaps the transformations through the platform. If opponents are unfamiliar with it and Nitro has worked it out, some of the setups may provide the advantage he needs. Naito, another, you know, SoCal, just a very versatile region in general. Naito plays multiple characters, so we'll have to see which one he prefers in the matchup against the Richter. set up here. Let's just run through other parts of the bracket so far. Top 16, we do have a lot of the winner side spaces already occupied. Syro, as you just saw there, winning that to advance to winner side top eight. He will face the winner of Einhip and Didi. We will have that on stream in just a moment. But this time, Nitro and Naito They'll be first to go. Master Mario and Deep Hockey playing off stream. Master Mario, of course, another another person with a stellar Evo performance had win on Fatality. Larry Lurk, Takera, Dark Wizzy. A long, long hit list for him, and that's something that, you know, he was really looking for a breakout performance at a major. And 33rd place, the highest placing Mario player over Anti, over Dark Wizzy, over Prodigy, over so many of these players who were just slated to go really far. This, uh, the, I believe the highest placing solo Mario player, I should clarify, but nevertheless, that's quite, quite the feat. And we're gonna see the Battlefield version of Susaku Castle for stage one. I, once again, cannot get enough of these, you know, non-regular FD and Battlefield choices. Naito goes with his most used character, the Ken. Might be a bit hard to get in that absolute labyrinth of projectiles that Naito can throw at any point, even with that holy water. He's just gonna make his life with the platform a living hell. There's a the platform. And one thing Naito may want to do is rely, perhaps, on the shore, you can perhaps more than you otherwise would. The jab cancels and the tilt cancels are great when you can get them, but if you can force Nitro in with a projectile of his own that he has, he might be able to get those more active spaces around the holy water and the dash attack to down tilt. He's getting an early percent lead, but up special from Nitro as well as the F tilt. It's a back safe and hooks him through the stage with his own recovery. Naito carries the first hit of the Holy Water. Not entirely sure that was necessary or intentional, but he'll take it. Focus a couple of times and that jab into up special. So, so well done from Naito. That was the first time he threw it out, so he wasn't fishing for it. And just landed where he needed to. He turned right before the pitch goes off as well. Good awareness. Around the 
axe but just back into the waiting arms of Nitro. So it's got two axes in the F tilt. Not quite. Very, very close. He's about to now throw out another holy water on stage. But now that's gonna be Naito's projectile. Now the axe. Just an invincibility to beat out the second one. This is the tech. Does Nitro, and I'm not sure Nitro is quite ready for that. Eight for the holy water, and that's gonna be an easy F tilt kill at 200 percent for Nitro. He will take those any day of the week. With the cross going outward but not inward. Side specials around it. To a light punish. Rolls through one but not around the axe. Focuses around that and the heavy armor doing the work for him. Gets him out of the very situation. Got attacked. So back there. Good down tilt. Uh, two in a row from my go. He wants to take this upset on a seated player. That's going to have to be the way he just starts it off. Carries once again the first hit. The holy bottom. He's been doing that. A bit stylish. Of course, he's not really going to do the most good. It's around the axe as well. And can find his way in. Dash attack from Nitro. Throwing out so, so many projectiles. Everyone at his disposal. Boss almost killing. He was pretty far off stage. And he was at 140 something percent, but haven't seen a cross kill in a while. That tilt across the stage. One axe, another is the second, the third. It's gonna put so much shield pressure on. It's looking very, very small, and it didn't have the acumen to do much about it. Carries that. Down tilt. That up special, not White gonna reach two very similarly shaped recoveries, but one of them just stronger than the other. Nitro is the first to go down to the last off. That down air right in front of Nitro's face, but he didn't do anything about it. That cross gonna save him and put him out of the gap. F tilt and cap it off at 170%. Still 62 to make up. So this isn't entirely wasted. For Naito, if he falls victim to some of these grab and projectile combos, covers back to stage to the side beam instead. And another one on stage gets the down tilt into the F tilt. How will he capitalize with Nitro off stage? Just tethers back. That down air, of course, has quite a bit of NY to do land on the stage. Nitro is going to have a lot of difficulty. He makes it back. Well, well spaced, narrows through the platform, gets him a final hit. Back air just goes around him. Don't have the cross, he was going to get hit with one or the other. Picks the lesser of two evils. Focuses through the shield, but... And the F-Tilt catches him. No, no, it doesn't kill. The Holy Water thought it ticked on enough percent, but that F-Tilt will. Even a bit stale from Nitro, but... You know, you thought he was just waiting for that magic percent that the Holy Water was dealing. You just saw that, you know, ticking up like a clock and the hourglass was just running out, running out, running out. Pulled the trigger a bit too early the first time. But that second time, even with the stale move, going to finish it off. Nitro. A very, very close game one. So... There's not too much negatives you can take from Nitro. Just don't fall victim to some of these holy water sledge traps that any Belmont player will just throw out at a moment's notice. Stop Interesting, we're gonna see Yggdrasil's altar once again gets the music pick as well. Stop so, you know, showcasing Better. some of the incredible music that was selected for this game. And Victor, once more. Game two, uh, winner's quarters. Of course, Nitro looking to advance to the inside top eight. Both characters are to do so, but Nitro, of course, one step closer than one goes. Right as that platform rises into the air. It's been a very even start. 
Naito perhaps doing a better job of avoiding projectiles as he is around the aerials. Good falling drag down there from Nitro, but doesn't capitalize on it at all. Naito gets caught in a whole lot of one more. The up B reads him right there. He says, I know where you are. And it's as if he's just pointing to him right there. That was going to be his doom. Good falling there once again from Nitro. Laps him in percent, only less than a minute in. And like I said, this specific transformation to the stage with the tilted left platform is going to be so beneficial for Nitro, especially if he can get Nitro caught on it. Those angles around the axes and the crosses as well can be unfamiliar to even anyone who knows the matchup as well. Nitro attacks on extra damage with the up looking sitting pretty. Now the jab combo tilt into the up B. So, so well done for Naito. Although the back air is going to put him at 147% down. Focuses around that one. Shields first down air, but not quite the second. Catches the holy water, but also unfortunately catches the end of his whip as well. Didn't want to put on too much shield pressure, but gonna pay with the cost of one stop. Nitro, an entire stock up, looking in excellent shape to move on. If not, if Nitro can do anything about it, well timed to just avoid the axe and throwing him out of his well-deserved combo. It's caught by the bottom part of that holy water as well. Good job to make sure that shield does not get too low. That is a precious, precious resource against a Richter player. Dash attack. And now, those platforms are not going to save him now. Tether's back, catches him in the holy water with the up smash, but no. Up tilt, rather. Uh, forward air, focuses around that, does not catch the laggy end lag, but does get him right back. Not quite closing at the stock, just will be a re grab, but no. Pokes him through the stage with the up special. And the left Nitro managing to hold on to advantage and get him with the up special. Will not get two stock this time. And of course, once more than that, won't get more than that at the hands of that axe. Well, well timed. 